Hello, this is Ashley Rian. I am a Vancouver-based Pilates and belly dance performer and instructor, and I'm also eight months postpartum. And so I'm here today to bring you a really quick and dirty postpartum Pilates flow. If you're not postpartum, totally fine. This is good for everybody. But I did want to have a focus on those of you who are postpartum because I have personally found it really hard to find really good exercises um, postpartum online. And I have been doing most of these exercises on my journey. And so I wanted to bring them here for you today. So we are going to just get started. Like I said, it's quick and dirty, so let's go. We are going to come into start by coming into standing. We're going to just start with some chest openers. So just come into a nice, easy stance, arms forward, and just pull it back. So one of the challenges I have found um, during my postpartum journey is during breastfeeding, we spend so much time being slumped forward, you know, holding an infant who has you know no head and neck control, and so I found my back and my chest and my neck were just, it was killer. It was a killer, killer, killer time to the point I couldn't even move my neck. So I really want to just get into this upper, upper spine a little bit just to get a little bit of mobility here. Let's do for four and three and two and a one. Beautiful. We're going to come into a nice wide sumo stance. So toes to the corner. We're going to tuck the pelvis. We're going to come into a plie squat, come all the way up. We're going to do 10 of these, two. So focusing on that pinky toe line, reaching all the way up, opening through that back, actively pulling those arms down. We have three, we have two, beautiful. And we have one. We're going to stay into a plie. We're going to place the hands behind the head. Really feel the back, the base of that skull cupped into the hands. We are going to press into the pinky toe line, that big toe mound. Knees are opening to the sides. And we're going to rotate. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So our head follows our elbow, and we are rotating with the rib cage first, not with the arms. So making sure that we're really activating those obliques, the whole abdominal system, that little bit of extra exhale is gonna tap into that core a little bit more. One more on each side. From here, we're gonna draw that right rib cage to the right hip bone, and coming up, and left. So try your best here to keep those shoulder blades nice and low. Keep pressing that head into the hands. So that we're really opening through that neckline, and we're not leading with the neck. So we're tapping right into those ribs, we're moving right from that whole rib cage, the neck is nice and open, and then relax the jaw. Beautiful. Now, let's come a little bit more into that plie. So I know for me, I've kind of snuck up a little bit. So let's come a little bit lower. Lovely. Let's do two more on each side. And last time, gorgeous. Let's heel toe, heel toe in. We're gonna come into calf raises. So finding the weight in that midfoot and to the front, spreading all 10 toes. Arms are gonna be out by our side, roll the shoulder blades back, pressing down, lifting up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna rotate so that the toes are facing the corners for 10 and nine. We're changing the angle, eight and seven, six, five and four, three, two and one. We're gonna rotate, toes facing in, 10, nine, eight. This is where it starts to burn, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Toes facing the front, spread all 10 toes. We're gonna hold arms coming all the way up, two down. Adding a little bit of mobility. It's gonna challenge the balance. It's also gonna burn out those calf muscles. We have four, three, and two. Beautiful job, and one. We are gonna come into a chair. So we're gonna keep um, the, the feet about two fist widths apart. If you have a Pilates ball, you can pop it in there. Roll the shoulder blades back. Lift the arms up so that they're alongside the ears. Shift our weight towards the heels. Scoop the belly. We're going to sit back. We're going to hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands come to the chest. Shift the weight onto that right leg only. If you can, come into a toe touch with that left foot. Or if you can hover, even better. Holding here for seven, six, pressing those hands together, scoop the belly for three, two, and one. Place that foot down, shift the weight, find that heavy left leg, gently peel that right toe to toe touch. If you can, lift it off, scoop the belly, press those hands together for eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, Three, two, and one. Place it down. Beautiful job. We're going to come on to all fours. Now from here, we're going to come into a just gentle cat and cow for three. So roll the shoulder blades back. Pull the belly button in to lengthen. Shine that chest forward and up. Pull the belly button in as we press. Round into our cat. Open through the back. Tuck the chin. Release, find that extension, looking up, and drawing up and in, and we have one last time. Beautiful. From here, we're going to walk that right leg back, left arm forward. Uh, the thumb is going to face the ceiling. We're going to just balance here for a moment, so pull the belly button in, find your weight, Let's point that right toe. We're looking just ahead of the mat. Now, you can stay here if you want, or you can touch it down and lift for five. And four. Seeking that length, feeling that shoulder plugged in, working from that glute line for two. Last time, and one. We're going to bend to touch, and exhale for five. For four, three, two, and one. Gently coming down, switching legs, sliding that left leg straight, right arm forward, plug that right arm back into the shoulder, finding that balance. We're going to hold it here first. This is challenging enough on its own. So if you don't want to do any movement, even just holding this for 15, 20, 30 seconds is more than enough. <laughs> if you're ready, touch and lift and down and up, down and up and down and up. Last time, hold it here. Knee to elbow, moving super slow, super deliberate for five, four, three, two, last time, and one. Gently place. Beautiful, the hand on the floor. Let's walk that right, let that left leg in slightly. We're gonna come into our donkey kick. So keeping both hip bones facing the floor, we're gonna lift up, pull it in. Two, making sure that we're pressing onto our right hand as much as we are on our left hand. So because we're in a tripod position, it gets really easy to shift our weight over towards the left side. So make sure that you really keep that weight centered on that right hand. Last time, hold it up. Stretch, flex, and bend. Stretch, so keep those hip bones. I felt my hip kind of twist. 
So keep that line nice and straight so both of those hips are like headlights on the floor. And let's do one more. And now from here, we're going to touch it down, lift and cross, making a little rainbow. Two. And three. And four. Woo! Last time. And a five. Last set. Long leg pulses up for five. And four. Three. And two. Last time. And a one. Beautiful. Pull it in. I'm going to flip around so that you can see the other side. We're going to start with those donkey kicks. So find that nice balanced position. That right leg is slightly in. Press against that left hand. Here we go. We pull. And pulse for five. Although I think I did maybe like seven on the other side. So maybe let's do seven here. So five. <laughs> Got to balance everything out, right? Four. Three. Two, last time, and one. Hold it here. Stretch and flex. For two, check that hip line. Three. And four. Keep it nice and high. I can feel this side is a little bit weaker. Hold, making our rainbows. Two. Three. And four, press against that left hand. Don't shift onto that right hip. And a five. Beautiful. Come back to center. We lift for five. And four. Three. And two. Last time. And a one. Gorgeous work. We're going to come into a side plank. So postpartum, I'm going to let you choose whatever level you like. I'm going to do it with you on my knees. So coming down, I'm just going to fold this mat over, hand pressing down, making sure we're pushing off of the floor. Let yourself sag into the floor, keep the knees bent, and then I want you to actively pull the waistline in, pushing up and away. And we are going to hold it here for 15, 14. I want you to make like a banana shape with this body. Pull the belly button in, open this arm up towards the ceiling. If you can look up, we have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous job. Let's switch over to the other side. Knees together. Let yourself sag. Find the elbow underneath the shoulder. Then pull everything up and in. Let's open up the hand. Here we are. Gaze up for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I know, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful job. Let's come and transition onto our backs. Level one, you can keep your feet on the floor. Level two, you can bring your legs into tabletop. So I'm going to start with level one. So here we are, finding ourselves in our neutral spine. Let's have our hands down towards the floor. And we're going to pull the right knee in and down five times. Two, and down. Three, and down. And four, and down. And five and change, and five, and four, three, and two, and a one. Leave the right leg up, let's float the left leg. Toe touches here, it's gonna take a lot more stability, a lot more concentration. Don't rush this movement. Look at how I'm moving the angle from the hip, not the knee. That's two, last time, and a one. Right side, we tap and pull for two. 
and three, and four, and a five. Beautiful job from here. Let's try right left leg down and right. And left. And right. And one more each side. From here, with the left leg, stretch it out and pull it in. Now, if you want to add a little bit more challenge, you can touch it down, pull it up, and in. Make sure that if you do this optional section here, that your abdominal line is strong enough to support it, okay? So let's do three. And two. Last time. And a one. And right side down. And up. Or you can just keep it here. This is effective enough. And three. And two. And a one. Lovely. From here, open up the arms. And we're going to keep a space between about two fists between the hands. And we rotate. So try to lead with the abdominals. Think we're actively pulling them in and over so that we're feeling that whole engagement side to side. Last time. Beautiful job. Last exercise that we're going to roll back onto our front and we are going to come into our supermans. So I'm just pull my hair out here. So arms out in front. We're going to have forehead down. Legs are going to be as wide as the mat. We're going to gently rotate the heels in, slide the kneecaps up the legs, push the pubic bone down into the floor, lift the belly away from the floor. Forehead is down. Take a nice deep breath in. Now on the exhale, pressing into the feet, we're going to lift the arms up. Inhale, coming down. We have five of these. Exhale, for two. We're looking ahead of the mat. The head, the neck, and the back all move together. For three. And four. Last time. And five. We are going to add the legs if you can. If you can, just keep with the upper body. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale. Inhale down. Exhale for two. Keep drawing that belly button up and in. Feel that engagement in those quads, in those glutes, in that whole back line. For three. For two. And one. Hold it here. Legs come down. We bend. We stretch. For two. Three. And four. Last time. And a five. Beautiful. Press back into a nice child's pose. We're all done. Nice, quick and dirty. A few little minutes of some mobility, some strengthening. And coming all the way up. So you can incorporate that really easily in your mornings if you want to add that for a nice evening routine before you go to bed. Um, it's a great place to even just do it midday if you're working and you need a quick little stretch or a quick little bit of a break. Um, yeah, just throw that in wherever you can. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, subscribe, let me know below in the comments how you liked this and what you'd like to see. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.